It's been a whirlwind season for bull riding's best. Oh! It went from bad to worse. Our world number one now having to be carried. But the time is now for the contenders trying to chase down the world's number one ranked cowboy. This week, opportunity awaits the chasers as the PBR rides into Billings, Montana. A powerful eight! Today, it's the biggest names, the best bulls, and the chance at a PBR gold buckle on the line next on CBS. A confident pen of bulls knows their A game has been more than enough this past month. Billings, Montana, are you ready? Let's get it. And Eli. And wow. flying wired and mad. Did you see the air that this bull got? Yeah, look at the frustration on Eli's face. He's going to take this one to about five seconds, but yep. it's almost like somebody let the air out of a balloon. Ooh. Look at this. Nasty. And then gets roughed up. Thank goodness he was able to basically stay on his feet in Eli Vassbinder. Yeah, he's 41st ranked bull rider in the world. Even with that win, he's got work to do. Come on, Calame, right there. Yep. You're just not going to buck off. Oh. Get Western. Made a mistake. And Galerme was not. Look at this. This bull turned back right there to the right. And it is over. Good night, Irene. How about 85 and a half points? Barracuda 5S Ranch. Look at this. Got another one going. Welcome back. Yeah, it has been a while since we have seen Lucas Davino. You got to go back to November, Matt West. Yeah, back of the PBR Teams Championship in Las Vegas, November. Last time we've seen Davino on yep. the sidelines with surgery, back and making a splash. Yep, and right now he's got to be better than 85 and a half. The numbers, 85 and three quarter points. Rode for the Kansas City Outlaws last year. All right, Colton. Oh, oh no, look out. I mean, stepped on him bad. He's a little slow to kind of collect himself. He's talking about played. how big of an impression this kid. Oh, man. How big of an impression he made with his team, the Outlaws, folks. They're going to help him out here today. I hope you'll help him out a little bit more. Yeah, boy, you hate to see that at this time of the season. Then he's on the clock. Here we go. That one. Boy, an outlaw going to watch this one back. Yeah, the LA, 30, Tyler. What's that? LA. Well, go. Follow, follow, follow. Are you coaching I'm right coaching now? him, yes. Okay. okay. All right. Uh -oh. I'm sure he's going to appreciate Coming your around. help. Oh. Coming around. Hey, what was that? Wow. Hey. <laughs> what Excuse me. I'm getting reprimanded by a bullfighter. Hey. Hey. Hey, Cody Webster. I know you're on Instagram and stuff a lot, but you want a little shot at the title? Oh. Hey, go back to me. Webster, you see that? 
You know what that means? I'm old man tough. And Adnelio, ready to go. Hey, Montana, how about it for that guy? Woo. I mean to tell you what. And Nelio, watch this replay back, awaiting the numbers to come in tonight. Man, I was looking forward to it in 85 and a half points. 85 and a half right there for the 29-year-old DNH Cattle Company in Flynn. Zane Cook a mile back away for the finals. Got to ride one. He might be closing in on that mile. Okay. Yeah. I mean, how bad do you want it? Zane Cook coming in clutch at the end of the season. Look, he did this. A few weeks ago in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, he got an opportunity, yep. he capitalized. Today, he's got a bull called Tutton, Cutting Torch. He's going to capitalize on this one, too. Yep, right now, 85 and three quarters in the lead. The numbers, how about 86 points? And the bar has been raised. New sheriff in town, and Come his on. name is Zane Cook. Hmm. Maybe the biggest Eight, ride of his life in six, six seconds. Five, four, three, two, Here we go. gotta go! Woo! Wow. Man, oh man. Everything we talked about, folks, how impressive that bull's been, the numbers he has produced. That Montana man just took the fight to one of the best bulls in the world. The bull's going to win, but Montana sure got a lot to be proud of in that man right there. Yep, he'll come back tomorrow. He is still in this, and uh, you hate to come down in the opening round. Bamboozle bucked him off a week ago. Let's get even, Colton Fritzlin. Billings, let's help him ride this one this time. Fritzlin! Oh! oh. Boy, he got popped. Boy, and Platinum Bull Company's Bamboozle, he is squaring up. And look it. Woo! <laughs> He was sneaking. He, he was doing That's the sneaky it. on me. Stealthy. Ooh, 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 ooh. If there was a guy that could change the record on this bull, it's this one. Cooper Davis, check in. Be the first one to ride him. Help him. Help him. And he strikes! Oh. If that Cooper Davis shows up every night for the rest of the season, look out because he could be getting his second world title. What a performance. Outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. The numbers, they are in. How about 88 and three quarters? Five, four, three, two, here we go. Oh, look out. Boy, he got stepped on and glad to see that he is up on his feet. Yeah, he can hear you, Montana. He can hear you. We play back at it, and that's where it all goes wrong. 
Dirty Brew, the name of the bull, d &H Cattle Company, Gordon, OK Corrales, the Iceman, goes to work! Oh no, disaster! 7.18. And the Iceman will come down. So close to getting there. Matted, it looked like that he had had this one knocked out and was going right there to aid, and then it all goes wrong. Comes in here with a monster 88 and three quarter point ride. He will take the lead in the event of the PBR Wrangler Invitational. Ladies and gentlemen, with the win in round number one, the rattlesnake from Texas, Cooper Davis. And if you are one of the front runners in this race, that is a guy that you do not want to see creeping up behind you. That is quite possibly the most dangerous man in this race. Montana, gate opens. We make some noise. Let's help him. Oh! And getting deciding early. Maybe should have crawled up on that center gate right away, but let's get to the action down on the arena floor. Do not Man. like the way yeah. he's holding that arm. They are tapping in early here, right there, Red Clark. And unfortunately, Dawson Brand, one of those guys that we're going to talk a lot about that. Time. Look at look at Lucas to your door right, right there, taking a shot. We will meet all three. Oh, there's Lucas right there. Look at him. He's got a smile on his face. Go, Bobcats, go. Come on, Chase. Oh, look out. Oh, and look how quick Nathan Harp is back on his feet. Folks, how about it for our U.S. Border Patrol bullfighters? Goodness gracious. Wow. Check this out, man. Wow. Hey. Uh. Look at the bull went, uh, and he went, ooh, ah. and then it went, oh. Was he laughing on the way down to the ground? It looked like it. Harp, were you laughing? Hey, Harp. Climbing up on shake and bait. Blake Sharp, Floyd Upson, Ferris. Whoop. Wow. It's a big bull. Ah, what a difference a day can make, huh? Man. Little A last night looked to have figured out the formula to success. And you can see kind of hanging his head a little bit here tonight. Do me a favor. How about a little pick-me-up, Montana? Can you give Austin Richardson a little hospitality on his way out? You know the drill. He'll be hitting the showers early tonight. It's my line. We'll go to the ride pass buck and shoot. Now would be a great time for a little pep talk from you bull riders back there. You bull riders back there. Let's pick it up. Let's ride some bulls. My, my shoulders are getting tired from carrying this show. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> you might have picked the right time to tell these guys to take over. Ooh. And that is plenty enough points for Lucas Davino to qualify. Come on, Davino. Look at oh, this, my. Montana. Yep. We might have been late to the party, but we're at the party. Lucas Davino just becomes the first man to ride to in Montana. He just turned in 87 points. Look at Davino. Good job, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here's CW. Oh! Good catch. I know. Tijuana two-step. 
M. Raftery, let's go. Brady, you got this one. Make the most of it. Yes. He knocked that one out of the park. Yes, he did. An absolute solo out of the park home run. Watch this back. The numbers are in. How about 90 points? That right there, folks. See that redheaded teenager? That is the first 90 point ride of his elite level career. Oh, and great. we got to see it here tonight. Great stat. 19 and already got his first 90 on the board. Montana, why don't you tell that young man how great that looked yeah. here tonight? Look at him. Look at him. Keep it on him. Look at him. Because as we have highlighted already, this world title race is completely up for grabs. There's your example, gentlemen. You set it up perfectly. Eli Bass Binder finds a way to eight, and the writers are on the board. Yeah, and Trump Train just falls out of there, around to the right, right in the gate today. Bullfighter's still going to work out there, but look, Eli did a great job taking advantage of a good day from that bull right there. Just falls out of there in the, in the latch right here. Really good job. And this bull's kind of staying balled up, wanting to tip him out over his shoulder. Fights long enough to be there. Good job. Eli Vastbinder won an event earlier this season in Tulsa. He was one for 14 since that win until that eight second example, 86 and a quarter. The talent is evident here in Billings as we've got back-to-back -back qualified rides, which frankly hasn't happened much over the past month. Well, you just can't do it much better than what Fritzland just did right there. You think back to the first out with Ezekiel and, and the difference in the two is when this bull changes it up right here. Look at Fritzland's head, look at his chin, look how that controls his upper body. That's just textbook stuff and a great job by Colton Fritzland. I mentioned Eli's win earlier this season in Tulsa. Well, Fritzland was the winner in Albuquerque, and he puts himself in a great position here. 86 and three quarters moves him to the pinnacle of the leaderboard early on in Montana. To add yet another rider into the mix, he comes into this week at 17th overall. There's that fight. Perfect example. Getting on that roll that he told Kate he was going to do. That is the first time that big worm has ever been ridden. Man, I thought this was a fantastic job by Keyshawn. I mean, this bull, you know, has got some kind of explosive jumps. Never finds a spot. Right out of here, though, really bugs. Keyshawn does a good job staying down, finding the front end. Way to get by one that nobody yeah, had yet. Absolutely. And I'm starting to see a pattern develop, by the way, gang. 86 and three quarters. This one, 86 and a half. And then, of course, you got Eli, 86 and a quarter. So everybody bunched together at the top of the leaderboard. Give Keyshawn credit as he is there. The event bonus points where you make a lot of coin. is on it's as simple as that and i'm gonna love listening to you break this down partner because even i could see those crisp corrections that kept him centered and he gets a second score on the weekend and it's worth 87. well this one this is what the doctor ordered for davis but 
Look, you, you talk about talking over this one. Not a lot to talk about when everything's right. You know what I mean? Like, Davis is just right in the middle of this bull. He's reacting to wherever his body, wherever this bull's trying to take his body, he just takes it right back to the middle. That, that's just a flawless performance by Cooper Davis. Every rider will tell you. Pretty much like in any professional sport, when you are in the zone, it all seems easier. It all seems to slow down. I'm just going to say it. You have got to be kidding. Daniel Keeping found a couple extra efforts of fight in there, but the clock shows 7.99. It's already been challenged on his behalf, so they will start to parse this, maybe even go to a hand time, and if they find a hundredth of a second out of this, and Sean Ramirez, the replay judge, gives us a thumbs up, it will be a qualified ride. I'd love for you to weigh in, partner. What are you feeling at the moment? Well, I just feel like there was no need for it to be this close. Mm -hmm. You know, Daniel is too good of a bull rider to let this one get him wrung out to the end of his arm like that. And it's going to be a buck off, it looks like, from what we're seeing here. I mean, he hits the, his hand, free hands touching the dirt at seven and change there. Yeah, that, that again. Daniel rides too good for that one to do that to him. I mean, right, we, we opened the show talking about a certain rider who had been missing opportunities, and we've already now seen a couple guys yep. have that bug bite them here. There we go. Is that going to be enough to move to the lead? I don't think he's probably going to take the lead here. Bull started out strong, trailed off a little bit as the ride went on, lost some of his kick, some of the up and down. I think Davis wins this round. Pacheco will get a piece of it, though. No question. You are correct. Making the eight, he definitely gets a piece of it. 86 points. Ties him in fifth, or puts him in fifth in this bucking battle. You know, this bull starts off like, hey, he's got a shot here. You know, he's got a shot to be 87, 88. And then you watch those ride. Bull kind of flattens out, just levels off. Nothing Pacheco can do there but finish and make a good ride like he did. Sometimes that's just how it goes, right? Can't control what is underneath you. Pacheco simply does his job. Cooper, well done. You told me this is the hardest season any guy in the locker room's ever had. So how have you found a way, not to just battle, but be successful at this point in the season? You just have to be mentally tough. You know, I had to go home and kind of hit the reset button and go do some of the things that I was doing at the beginning of the year to get ready for this long season. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of finding that groove again. feel really good. The right time. Congratulations. Great ride. Thank you. Interested to see what kind of day he has here. Hangs his horn again. Well, the start ends up helping Galerme as that will be a second qualified ride. And he's headed to only his second championship round of his young career, 85 and three quarters. Yeah, and, and you watch it here. The horn hangs right there, just pulls him right around to the right. You know, and it takes him because it kind of pulls him off balance. The bull I'm talking about, so it takes him a round or two to get things going again. If you're J-Dub and David Hale, does this become worrisome now that's happened a couple times in a row? Yeah, you're you're going, hey, we got to put a stop to this. Yes. <laughs> ah, and it's Lucas Davino, the latest rider to be toast against the big red basket. And Lucas has looked really good in his return to the first two. Around to the right with him, made two really good rides. This one's a notch up though. This one's right around, you know, flirting with that short round. Bigger, stronger, a little more intensity.
So Lucas knows he's coming back, still sitting in second with that buck off, but that absolutely provides a huge opportunity for Cooper. And I think people have to keep in mind he's still a really, really young guy. And that's why you oh see... Oh my gosh! I don't mean to over exclaim you, my friend, but let's talk not only about the first move from top dollar, but the finishing move, which stuck Tate Pohlmeyer to steal like Velcro. Yeah, watch how long he holds to the back of the shoot, and it pulls him back, rips him up. This is what caught my attention. I <laughs> know it was. Wow. Good job kind of hanging on to it, though. But you watch him hold. You see his hand back down the back shoot, holds on to it too long, snaps him up. Good job, though, of holding on to the shoot gate, yes. letting himself ease back down. That's those spider-like reflexes he's got. Tate Pohlmeyer, a.k.a. Peter Parker, hanging upside down on the steel. <laughs> hey. Guess what's going to be standing in the corner at my house tomorrow? Yep. But there's really no reason for that. This little guy can ride once he understands. Hey, right there, guys. Hey. 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 Woo. We saw the red flags get thrown, but I'm not sure Losnacki. He's good. He's yeah, good, he's Homer. got the thumbs up. He's ready to rumble like you guys were talking about. And just listening to you both, Mac, I love the way Webb described that as there is no luxury in the decision-making process here that as Vitor finds bull out. Too. No, and check out the bullfighters. Happen to go to work. This is a great angle of them right here. I mean, they know things are going wrong. You just watch that triangle start to converge, man. I mean, you got Webb, Lucas, Harp, and you're going to see them all have to start making that move. Really good work keeping the guy safe. Yeah, and and that say. happens every single yeah, per time. Perfectly executed. Oh, oh whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, man man oh, down. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is a disaster. Ah. This is not good. Uh -uh. Should be to the left. This is one we've seen in championship rounds. Chase manages to stay aboard, and you could tell Renegade at times was flummoxed. He did not like Chase on his back, but that's the fight you've all been talking about. Well, that's just a, that's a fantastic job from Chase Doherty of staying in that fight, staying in that moment, doing whatever it takes, because this guy has got talent for days. Where he struggles is when his head gets picked up. There's a lot of stuff thrown at him right here. You watch him. He never loses sight of that bull. Good score, 86 and change, but that's a huge ride. Yeah, that 86 and three quarters is going to tie him with Colton Fritzlin for fifth overall. And there's Chase Doherty visiting with J.W. Hart, both taking the load off as Doherty feeling the aftermath. Ooh, oh, hey. What the hell? What, what is this? You got the... What do you, you just... What is this? Who's... Oh, thanks for the memories. Here's a gift to help you keep dancing. <laughs> that's the funniest thing that's happened all weekend. It's a talking stick. That's right. There you go. I was there, there it is. is in your yeah, right there. Look. look. Oh, ooh, this just in. It's my own private poll. <laughs> oh, I just bought one yesterday in Three Forks. We're good. Oh. So this, you make it? This is awesome. Let's go. Let's. I don't, I don't yeah, even know what I'm he's gonna got going on. I'm going to let you commentate no. what's going on. No, I don't, I don't even know what that is <laughs> happening. That's split. 
Let's send it down to Kate. <laughs> Guys, I was talking to Flynn just before tonight's show, and he told me, you know, this crowd, this moment, it's something that I'm never going to forget in my career. All the years of coming here, and it never ceases to surprise me, the type of love I feel in my home state. So just a joy to be able to see him do it once again. Uh, it's, it's great to hear Kate, obviously, and I think we all just add to that. We all do love him. He's just been so much fun to be around. And oh, boy. Well, Blood Moon doesn't care and sends him flying. And for the second time this weekend, outlaws off at one and change. Yeah, Blood Moon is for real. 44-point full score. Let's take a look right down here out of our bottom right. You're going to see his inside foot come up just a little bit, kind of bows him out right here, and that foot's just going to explode out of there. That's a heck of a little bull. Both of his buck-offs have been seven and change. There it is. He finally gets the few milliseconds he needed. As for the first time this weekend, Daniel Keeping gets to celebrate, and it should be good. Yeah, and that's just the difference in, fin in keeping finishing. You know, because he... He made some other rides just like this this weekend and would let him get him raised up, get him to the end of his riding arm and put him down at seven and change. This one keeps his chin down, keeps working, keeps firing, never quits till after that whistle goes off. 86 and three quarters, puts him in a tie for fifth. He's with Kate. So many seven second buck offs recently. I know they've been frustrating. How much more satisfying is it to finish this one? I was happy to get the job done, really. Thank the man upstairs for has been able to enable me to keep doing what I do even when it's rough. So, got to keep the chin up and keep going. Made it happen. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Craig. He did get a qualified ride aboard Charisma's round one. Oh! That is not going to keep you on tour for long if you can't figure that out is the head-to-head -head contact was scary. Yeah, not many guys figured that bull out. Um, he is he is a big old handful. Kind of wads up out of there, gives him a big one. And, and it's, that second one too, you know, yeah, great job times. by the guys. If he can come back, he's in the bubble spot, but wow. Smooth steal with another great out. It's a great bull, been around a long time, likes the left. We'll give you a big one and jump out of it at the end. Boudreaux turns Bubba G into Bubba A2Z. All eight right there. Good job by Boudreaux Campbell. And, you know, that one was, that wasn't easy. That was a fight, you know, the whole time. And Boudreaux was willing to keep fighting, right? To keep throwing one more. Try it one more time. And that's what it takes. And he's rewarded for it. Oh, yes. The judges, they liked it. 88 points and Boudreaux bounces all the way up the standings into fifth overall. Direction not important. Davis is the only rider perfect in Billings. Now he just gets away safely and he is able to tame the Savage Beast, 87 points. Yeah, and this, this bull kind of has a weird start right out of here. Turns out backwards, Davis doesn't get rattled, doesn't panic, doesn't worry about everything. Keeps his head down. Once the bull gets going, he just makes a really good ride. And so with that ride, we've talked about some of the what ifs. Here's a couple very simple what ifs. 
Davino's going to have to be 90 and a quarter. Valeras is going to have to be 91 and three quarters. Otherwise, Coop wins the event. Well, and they'll have that opportunity, you know, depending on how they pick. There's plenty of bulls in there that are going to give you those kind of points if they can ride them. Mm -hmm. I think he can help another guy to the pay window. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Did you state the obvious, my friend? But you instigated a fun out as Joao and Charisma combined for a necessary eight. He needs about 86 to give himself a chance. Well, I just love this ride from Joao for a lot of different reasons. We're gonna look at it from this angle right here. Look at Joao's head. We talk about this over and over at nauseum. He's got his chin down, so when the reversal comes, Joao just gets forward, lets go a little bit, stays forward, but he never loses sight of that bull. Therefore, you see a really good ride turned in. Gets the congrats from Flint, as Joao does indeed make it possible for a championship round appearance. He's now on the clock as well. That went from bad to worse very quickly. And here in Billings, that is what pie tastes like. Yeah, and Aaron is a guy that's really battling a, a banged up riding hand. And, and I know as bad as he doesn't want to do it, I, it really just looks to me like right now at this point, he's going to have to get that hand better before he really stands much of a chance of of being competitive against these bulls. Yeah, it's tough to watch, isn't it? Basically, we see that right there after every single out. Now he needs to get motivated and nod as the clock hits 20. Great job by Kaiki to just keep that head down and that focus squarely onto the center of whatever, and it equates to a second qualified ride of the weekend. And look, that bull had been unridden up until this point. That's how you do it, though. That's how you do it, especially away from your hand. Let the bull do the work. Don't mess with it until you need to. Like, there he gets a little in, just picks up, moves out. Let the bull do it. Stay forward, keep your eyes on him, let him do all the work. That's a clinic right there from Pacheco. And look, even though it was not anywhere near what Kaiki was thinking about, let me just throw some facts here. That qualified ride moves him all the way up to third overall. So let's say that Coop even does win this event. That's what Pacheco's I'm talking about, gonna dude. Minimize, He's never going away. Exactly. Pacheco has the chance to minimize the damage. Not to mention... That guy's not going to give you anything. No. You're going to have to take it. Not a big bull, loves the ride, and can just keep on going. Oh, Dawson. Everything was going so well. Finally, bullfighters in there to end that hang up. Hey, and Harp's got some wheels on him, man. <laughs> Because Skeeter Peter was cutting out. We watch this back. It, it, Dawson's making a really good ride here the whole time. Steps ahead a little bit. Jumps out of it. Just comes down with his free hand there. But I was really impressed with Harp turning it on here and just bailing up there. Getting a hold of that uh, tail. Getting him out of there. That's fantastic work on the fly. I was going to say, talk about focus and fortitude. Took a couple times to engage. Nathan finally got it done. Meanwhile, I okay. think the challenge was, don't you, Mac, that Dawson felt because the bull got close to the chute, maybe something Yeah, might maybe happen. looking for some contact yeah. there, about five, six, somewhere yep. in there. You know, he leaves out of there clean. Everything's clean, you know, for the first. Like right there, there was a, you know, it might have skimmed off of it a little bit, but we'll see what Sean Ramirez thinks. It does, yeah. It does not look like Sean is impressed or cares to entertain that idea. He waved off the camera and then gave us the thumbs down.
on Championship Sunday. This is where the fun happens. The championship round. If you've been tuning in the past month, you know only one qualified ride when we get to this point over the past month. Let's see what this fifth championship round can do. He did it back in 2020. Remember, he finished second at the finals. Uh, Domino delivers another dominating performance. Really will, good. Will it get him into the stratosphere again? Was pretty darn good. 46 and yeah. a half. Yeah, and I, I feel like they nailed it right there. And I'm, I'm obviously no judge when it comes to marking a bull like that, but they didn't get carried away with it because mm -hmm. it wasn't the explosive out that we seen the, the almost the 48 just because the buck off wasn't as spectacular, but it's dang near the same tracks. We had some talks throughout the week in terms of our whole PBR team. Well, this crowd might be confused. They saw the clock stop. The judges think they saw a slap. Yeah, a couple Joel, of times. Yeah, Joao did ride the bull two eight seconds, but I think it's pretty clear it's going to stay a zero. Yeah, he pulls him down right around here, right there. It, it wasn't a good angle for us to see it. There's another one, and there's another one, another one. I think the the good takeaway, the positive takeaway from this was that Blue Duck kept his feet under him the whole time. Sean Ramirez through the replay center, another thumbs down. And we pretty much figured that was gonna happen. Yeah, so, Joe Al knew it. You yeah. Know. No qualified rides yet. I think that was good enough. Oh, yeah. Again, I'm not a judge, but Ryan no, Solo did everything whistle. he was supposed to do. Keeping off at six. What's the bull score, Mac? 43 and a quarter, so not going to do himself any favors with the score, but it wasn't really the score that was right. the issue, right? Like, he lives to fight another day because the shoot. He got out of the shoot clean right here, really clean. And, and Daniel Keeping is, is making a really good ride on him until he goes back the other direction and you watch Keeping's head. I mean, he has, he gives himself no chance to go yeah. back the other way. No, but I'm glad you made that important distinction. You're right, it wasn't about the score as much as it was the exit. And everything went properly. Great work for the whole team there. Ford McCoy isn't here this weekend, but clearly he's watching at home, probably breathes a sigh of relief. Just because of the attitude and the mindset. Boudreaux bounces a bit at the end. Frustration evident. Cool whip. Just another day at the office. The ride's over at five and a half. Yeah, 44 and a quarter coming in. You see there wasn't a lot of kick right there out of Cool Whip today. Some long jumps. So the difficulty level is still really high with him, but you're not going to see that big flashy score coming in. Well, in these latter outs of the season, when you haven't seen, let's say, Cool Whip's best of the year, what that does is for a bull like Domino, gives them a chance to come into the equation. Yeah, it definitely gives them a chance, but look, you've only got to take eight outs, right? Cool yeah. Whip's got an insane amount of outs, so he <laughs> yeah. can just drop these low ones off, but they've still got to get it done during the World Finals. It's anybody's game, you know, at the finals. Flapjack does enough to send Turgeon spinning in the air. How about Kate? I give her credit. She went next level with that interview. Hey, this one right here is going to stay in that race. It's a lot like the guys. Like the, the World Finals is going to sort it all out. Flapjack is another one that's very consistent. 45 and three quarters today. That bull doesn't have off days very often. 45 and three quarters. Flapjack active. 
and Reddy moved him up to number two, or at least in a tie with Ryan Solo for second in the world. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go back and, and, and enjoy some of the moments from this weekend as a reminder to some of the moments that we have enjoyed for the decades that one inspirational man has given us. Ladies and gentlemen, a former school teacher in Haver, Montana, a current resident of Billings, Montana, but a man that has represented the 406 around the world as the greatest Western sports entertainer of all time, today celebrates his final performance in Billings, Montana. If you have enjoyed what he's given us in his career, now is our opportunity to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Montana's own Flint Rasmussen. Ninety-one and three quarters or better, he moves to the lead. We get it. That's good stuff. Yeah, we get a qualified ride. Pacheco fired up. Hey, he, he just hung on to his tail. That, like, that was some bronc riding right there. He just lifted on his rein. That was good stuff. Way to stay in it. Keep in mind. Oh, go ahead, Mac. No, man. It, it's just like it's not a huge score. Uh, but here comes this changeup I was talking about. Right here. Pops the rope out of his hand. He rides in the last two, three seconds just hanging on to his tail. But very aware to say, hey, I'm still in the middle of him. There's no sense in checking out right here. No, and that's what I want to bring in, this awareness, right, of what Pacheco was just able to do. He already has four round wins this season. And with all the buck-offs we've seen in the championship round, again, think about minimizing the damage. Even if Davis wins, let's send it down to Kate. Hanging on to your rope with your fingertips. Talk about that effort and how important these rides are right now. That's really important for me. I give everything I can to ride my bull. And I'm really happy to make that. Third time riding that bull. Was that the hardest one to get by? Yeah, he's hard to ride, but when I had the opportunity to pick him, I will pick. Well done. Thank you. Craig. The world loves to see Kaiki smile, and it was clear that he was happy with that result. And he just simply needs to nod. It's now down to five seconds. Looked like he caught a spur. Thankfully seems to be clear. And after all of that, Webb, I'm going to go to you. Are there any re-ride flags? Uh, guys, there is no flags on the field, but I will tell you, we got really, really lucky right there. We had a spur hung in the rope. Yeah, yeah, we all saw that, so thank you again. Woo, that worked out, Luke. <laughs> well, we're going to go down to our guy who has already won the event. This is for it all. It's Ricky Vaughn who is better, and it's Davis who seems at least stunned, if not hobbled. Yeah, just just gets him a little bit too raised up. Look, Davis is one of his greatest strengths is his posture. It's so good and crisp, but it, when it gets back, these are the landings that he takes. Bull score right what you would expect. 45 points. Cooper Davis will earn the lion's share of the points this weekend. Still feeling the effects, however, from hitting the dirt that hard. There Cooper, what a run it's been for you here in Billings. You knew coming in it was time to make a move. What was the approach for the last three-day event of the weekend to be able to stand here in the winter circle? Uh, you know, just bear down and get it done, and uh, you're going to have to grit it out. This is a tough season, and everybody's tired and everybody's hurt, so uh, whoever wants it the best is going to walk out of here the best, so that's what we're doing. 
Word is in the locker room, whoever catches fire right now has got the best shot when we get into Fort Worth. Is this your season? If I can stay healthy, it is. Uh, I feel like I just felt my growing pop right there, and uh, I don't know. Well, I hope so. Man, well, best of luck. Stay healthy, Cooper. We appreciate it. Congratulations. And for Davis, he was in fifth at the start of the day. He's now in fourth, only 271 points behind Kaiki. Kaiki now leads Lemmy by almost 120 and Castle by almost 200. Well, bonus bull riding this week as we kick it all off in Everett on Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network. And then on Sunday, tune in for another CBS show at 1 p.m. Eastern. Then at 5 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network, it's going to be the championship round. For Justin McBride, Kate Harrison, Cody Webster, and our entire PBR crew, I'm Craig Hummer. Thanks for watching.